Good morning, folks. Today we're seeing the Quake Watch score drop off, and so should the larger shakes. Picture a one sided bar fight on our star. Someone needs to pull the earth facing quiet up off the sun. Just been wailing on him here, and good old shiny up in the sky is taking a bit of a snooze. Amazing articles today as well, but as always, we'll begin with spaceweathernews.com. Find the bright active regions relatively calm. Big coronal hole turning to the right out of sight, the thin diagonal lines coming round from the left towards the equator, the plasma filaments. As you might have guessed, the X-ray flux shows how low the flaring has been, just the one sunspot facing Earth today. But remember, he's got bipolarity within that one large umbra. It can cause stability and quiet in a single spot when it happens, and the experts seem to agree. This thing is harmless. No solar flares above C-class range appear to be possible today. Let's come next to the coronal holes. So as this massive opening faced Earth and peaked the watch score, we took two large six-pointers in Ecuador. Remember, these were the weaker northern field, so magnitude 7 and 8 quakes weren't exactly expected. But alas, the timing was dead on as the coronal hole scoring begins to descend now. Capping off the watch was a volcano eruption in Guatemala, this is footage of the ash cloud heading up to potentially disrupt local air travel. We also took a quake way above average off the coast of Oregon, always worth noting, one above average in the Caribbean as well, and although the top magnitude of the day was only in 5 range, it hit the Earth spot zone in the Indian Ocean. Folks, we know what's happening in Sri Lanka from this cyclone, but now... India, Bangladesh, and Myanmar are going to take the brunt of the rainfall. Could be a devastating 72 hours on the other side of the world. Anyway, finally getting back to solar wind here. Density blips plus a slight rise in speed and plasma temperature signal the coronal hole solar wind is arriving. No magnetic storms yet, but the electron flux hitting the floor is your signal to at least monitor for the storms. Top two articles of the day include one about how Earth's magnetic field changes and gets warped in mere minutes when a solar storm sweeps by much, much faster than scientists were expecting, as we get a bigger picture of the electrons driven down into our atmosphere from the magnetic field. Link is found below, along with this one on Earth's Van Allen belts and current flows. Solar storm versus no solar storm graphic. Apparently during impact, we can actually integrate low energy protons on the night side, in addition to the polar introduction via aurora and similar processes. Cool stuff. Website members, the goal for today is for you to check out the Sun Series supplement on the premium page, scroll past the main navigation buttons to the list of other premium resources, try to test your own space weather knowledge with some of the questions at the end as well. We've got pressure and radar forecast for today, followed by shots of our star to close. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.